So I'm just out exploring the world and I come across this little coven witch. Little coven witch named Agony Fury. Pretty sweet name. Pretty sweet name. She says, defeat my pet and I'll bring and bring me its flesh. Speak to me again if you accept. Now, we are down here uh, in coven country. I have um, made a marker down here. Coven country, got a little portal set up. And I got some open coven quests here. Now, I'm back down here because we're way down here. Um, and uh, back down here because I want to recruit some more coven witches to be in my coven um, to make curses stronger and other things stronger. And just the, these coven witches are some of the coolest things I've ever seen. Now, this quest is an easier quest, in my opinion. If I accept her quest by talking to her again, she's gonna spawn in a real crazy looking dude. Uh, it's gonna be a zombie with... Yeah, it's gonna be a zombie. Right here, I have Ayanthe Graves' pet. She's one of my covens, in my coven, and Hecate Batson uh, as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and speak to Agony Fury, and she's gonna spawn in this thing. This guy, he's got a lot of health, 100 health, and as a bat, he's not gonna be able to touch me. So I'm just gonna hit on him for a minute, and he's like, oh gosh. Does he do a lot of damage? Uh, not that bad. Um, I have... Oh! Yes! Look at this! I got the morph, too, for... This is a special zombie. This isn't just any zombie. This would be Agony Fury's pet! Pretty cool, right? Um, oh, the nightmare morph. I love that. Um, Alright, so we'll go to Coven Witch here. Now, I'm gonna explain this to you guys. Uh... Oh, <laughs> that came in the chat. <laughs> I didn't realize that in broadcast on the server. I'm getting stronger. <laughs> yep, punches is on. Schism was on a little bit ago. Um, so what was I gonna say? Uh, I don't remember. Uh, but anyways, we got Agony Fury's pet flesh. I gotta have to give this to her. I will join your coven. Call me when you have need. Boom, baby. Bring it up. We got four coven witches now. Four coven witches. Now, what's cool about this? Cool about this. There is a uh, thingy I want to try out here. Eventually, eventually, it is called the. Uh, yep, right here. Right of shifting seasons. Pick a biome with the biome foci. Fo fo foci? Foci? Whatever how you pronounce that. I don't know how you pronounce that word. Fo foci. And glowstone. Coven of four or more. So now I have four in my coven. You can have up to six. And with a coven, of course, it allows you to be a ghost for longer. Um, so that is cool. What do we have in the chest here? Uh, spruce sapling. That's it. That's it. So I'm going to fly around more. Hopefully recruit uh, a bunch of um, more coven witches. Guys, also this. There was no bug. The morph mod detected this as when you go into the spirit world and you're this, like last episode. It puts you in a new, um, this is a mob. It's basically a mob. And, oh my gosh, I'm doing, do a bear! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> this is so trippy! I'll see you guys in the next episode! <laughs> what the heck? That is so cool. I'm gonna have to start an episode like this sometime. But, yeah, it's a it's an actual mob, and I can morph into that. So it's not a bug, and that is really, really trippy. Um, I don't know, my mind is all over the place right now. It is late. People found my base, by the way, but it is late. Um, and I got a lot of updates to show you guys, but uh, we have a new coven, which in our coven, so congratulations to me, hip hip hooray, but uh, well, yeah, we'll be back. All right, so I was just playing, and first of all, wanna let you guys know that my coven is now maxed out. We've got six, six witches in the coven. It is great. We're gonna be able to put on much, much stronger, uh, like spells and stuff like that. Yante Graves, you have been here since like the beginning. I was hoping a new one would show up, but no luck, no luck. Yante Graves is gonna hang out with us today. Um, but wanted to give you guys a few updates. I went ahead and I manually, uh, I, I took away all of the auto harvesters here. I changed the uh, stock chips for all these farms to potatoes because I was running low on poisons of potatoes, and in here. You'll see, this is very interesting. Um, I've got a lot of potatoes, and until today, when I took the 11 poisonous potatoes that were from my old base, brought them here, 
Um, I had none. The extra one to make 12, I just got a minute ago. Um, and now I have two more. What seemed to be happening is that the Mine Factory Reloaded uh, Harvesters, they, I don't think that they give a chance to drop poisonous potatoes, which is really kind of weird, because I actually need them for a project in the future, and also there are certain things with witchery that use poisonous potatoes. So I decided to, right now, I don't, like, I don't need an auto harvesting farm. I've got so many potatoes, I don't know what to do with it. It does auto plant though, which is really nice. And when I'm done, I just gotta put the uh, extra potatoes and stuff back in the, uh, the hopper there, and, or the uh, chest, and just gonna send it back into the system. But uh, in order to get these poisonous potatoes, I'm gonna have to, have to manually farm these myself, uh, myself, which is kind of disappointing. Um, so, yeah. Moving on, moving on, moving on. Guys, we have a new infusion. You'll see the bar on the left side of my screen over there is now purple. That is because I've infused myself now with the infusion of otherware. Uh, I've been spending a lot of time talking to the mod creator and he suggested that I use that one. Um, it might have some advantages in certain areas and basically it allows me to sort of become an enderman. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys what this is um, and how it's useful because yesterday I was uh, playing and Corrales was live streaming. Um, and guys, I think they know where my base is now. Um, some of you sold me out, which is great. You're like, in the chat on Corrales' stream, people were like, oh yeah, his coordinates are this and this, go get him. I'm like, what? <laughs> Thanks a lot. So, um, I was out, I was out, 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 and about just exploring, and all of a sudden, Generic B posts in the chat, he goes, hmm, what mod is this that adds dark, creepy towers in the middle of these creepy, creepy forest biomes? And I was like, great. I couldn't get back in time. I, I I don't think he was here. I don't think he got in. I don't think he did anything. Maybe his next episode will beg to differ. I don't know. But with this infusion, I now have the perfect way to get home from anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world at all. Even in the nether. If I'm in the nether, all I have to do, I don't even have to be standing. I can be flying. Shift, just shift right click. Boom. And I set my, my um, recall point to right here in the tower. So instantly, from anywhere in the world, I can get right back to here and defend on a dime. Like, boom, ready to go. Ready freaking to go. It's pretty cool, it's pretty awesome. Um, so, some other things. I trapped a villager here. This is a villager that is spawned in by the witchery mod, and he has um, some witchery type trades. His first trade was four emeralds for some spectral dust. Um, and then that trade disappeared. Uh, this next trade is one emerald for a tongue of dog. So uh, I'm gonna go downstairs because the item system works a little bit faster downstairs. And we'll just trade with him one time and see kind of what he gives us. But what's cool is that I now have like a little shop, a little witchery shop inside my uh, my witchery tower, which is really, I don't, sweet, that's so cool. Um, so yeah, the, the, uh, this infusion also has some other abilities, but I don't want to necessarily show them to you guys. Oops. <laughs> I might have just done that. That wasn't an accident, I did that on purpose. Uh, we're gonna recall back up to the top of the tower here, and let's go ahead and trade with this guy. Have him give me some tongue of dog. And they have the texture pack, we updated the resource pack. And they have like a new, they talk to a nice day we're having. It's really quiet though. I'm haggling you. <laughs> so it looks like he's still offering this trade right here. Uh, nothing has changed and I can't go back to the other trades, but hey, we got some more Tongue of Dog, which is good because actually wolves are really, really rare in this mod pack for some reason. Okay, so now I wanna move on to something that I haven't tackled yet. I haven't done this yet. And I, once again, was talking to the mod creator. He gave me some kind of cool ideas on uh, some defense ideas. One of them is uh, use of this parasitic louse, which you can only get using a mutating sprig and doing kind of like a formula um, where you, it's basically sort of the same type of deal that I had to do to get the owls and the toads. Uh, I might do that later in the episode if I have time, but one thing I do want to do today is these tree fied seeds, uh, or tree feed seeds. I'm not sure how to pronounce them accurately. I'm gonna just call them tree fied seeds. And what these are, are these really, really creepy looking little guys. And, um, you basically make these seeds and then you can sort of tell them using tag locks what you want them to attack and not attack. It's really cool, when they do attack, they cause blindness and they're supposed to be really crazy. Um, 
So I want to make some and get some prepared for uh, for the, the, the battle because it's coming. I've told you guys it's coming for sure and people already know where my base is now. Uh, Generic B I think was here the other day. So um, anyways, we need Mutantus Extremis, Reek of Misfortune, Water Artichoke Globes, Mandrake Roots, Ember Moss, and a Tear of the Goddess. So if I can remember all that, I will be awesome. So you need four of that, right? Um, yep, four of that. I need Ember Moss, which is over here. This witch area, like, I'm just so proud of it. I'm literally just so proud of it. The, everything I need is on these two floors. Literally, it's 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 literally a panic room. I'm under attack, go into the panic room. Get here with my witch's hand, boom. Easy, done. It's just amazing, it's great fun, and I got Croaker here to hang out with me too. Okay, so we also need, what was it? Um, Reek of Misfortune and Tear of the Goddess. So, uh, Reek of Misfortune and Tear of the Goddess. And the last thing we need is a Water Artichoke Globe. Um, so there you go. Okay, so now, I'm gonna go ahead and craft this. Um, so, I need to put the skies right here, this right there, this right there, Ember Moss goes here, Tear of the Goddess, and Reek of Misfortune. And we now have a tree fight seed. Very, very cool. So, I'm gonna go down a couple floors, down to here. Um, made a new little enchanting area. Oh, this is so cool. This armor stand is from the better storage mod. We just added that mod in this version. It's 1.0.9. It's still in beta right now. So if you're gonna go play in this mod pack, and if you're playing this mod pack and you're updating to beta, make sure you back up your worlds because it isn't. Uh, this version isn't beta. But we do have the better storage mod now, and you can make armor stands, which is really cool. I've got this hooked up to an auto enchantment table. Um, and you know what? Because we're here, before we dispense these tree fight seeds. Let's go ahead and um, I've set it to 30. So see what we get. Protection four, <gasps> yes! Yes, that is what I wanted! Oh, this suit of armor is gonna get sick. This is my battle armor right here. Protection four, Aqua Affinity one, Respiration three. Uh, what was this one? Uh, protection three, Unstable two. Uh, unstable is like if you have um, gunpowder in your inventory and you, I think you like right click with your hand or something when you have uh, unstable armor on, you'll explode or something like that. Um, not necessarily the best uh, for uh, like a battle indoors, but then this one has protection for unstable too. And uh, what's really cool is over here, I've got this disenchanter. So if you put a book in here and your armor, it'll disenchant the armor and put it on the, on a book. Um, oh, I wonder if that'll do two books. Like if you have two things, I'm gonna have to mess around with that because what I would really like would be to keep the protection on here, but remove the unstable. That would be really cool. Um, okay, so we got these tree fight seeds. Um, in order to, let's see, in order to spawn them in, you need to place them on either a grass block or a dirt block. So let's get, um, we'll get a dirt block. Let's just get a dirt block here. And uh, I can make a bunch of these. This is just testing today, guys. Uh, I'm just testing these out, just testing them out. Don't worry, don't worry. Um, but I'm very, very excited to do this because um, I haven't messed around with these guys yet. They're supposed to be really creepy looking. All right, so if I go ahead and right click on the ground, look at that. This is a, oh, this is a tree vine. Oh, they make creepy noises and they have 50 health. Uh, quite a bit of health. Oh, those are disgusting. Those are so gross. <gasps> oh my gosh. Can you imagine? People coming in here and just, oh, okay, I got a test, I got a test. I have a pig, right? I brought a pig with me. And they're just gonna go after him. They're just, they're just gonna wreck him. And that pig is blind. That pig, he was blinded, he couldn't see. Okay, that is cool. That is, that is cool. Now, one thing I do wanna do is uh, that is a disgusting noise though. That is a really disgusting noise. <laughs> um, they're in here, they will wander. Um, I think my hamsters are safe because I don't think they can jump over this. If they come up here, they may be aggro on them though, which means I might have to tag lock these guys and then put them into the tree fight seeds. Uh, if I right click on them, yep, it just says tree fight chimney stuff. So I am immune um, and my familiars are immune as well. Um, they're not gonna attack my familiars, which is really cool. These would be a great freaking prank to put in someone's house, I swear. Because I don't think they drop anything. Uh, I could be wrong, but what I what I do want to do today is jump up here. Um, I have a tag lock for Gus, but I am going to keep that. Well, no, let's just take it. Gus is my cow downstairs, okay? 
He's the cow that I get milk from downstairs to uh, help me in my brews uh, of sleeping so I can go to the uh, the spirit world. Um, what I'd like to do is just sort of um, tell my tree fights not to not to attack Gus. So let me pull it up here. It says, using a tag lock kit bound to another player or creature on an own tree fight will cause the tree fight to ignore that entity. Um, so I think you just um, right click with it. Yep. So, okay, so it consumed the tag lock though. It consumed the tag lock, good to know. So uh, I'm gonna go get another tag lock here. We're gonna go tag Gus. Actually, I'm gonna tag him twice because I did have an extra one up here. Um, he's sort of like a camera too, downstairs uh, in the basement. If people come in and they're messing around my basement, I can uh, use Gus's tag lock on my uh, crystal ball, and then um, it'll basically, there we go, gosh, uh, it'll basically um, give me a view of the bottom floor. For example, I'll show you. We can just do things today, you know what I'm saying? Okay, that didn't take the tag lock there. Maybe it didn't take it. Either it didn't take it or I took three. Not 100% sure. But if I wanna go to Gus Vision, just hold this, and then, if I go F5, I can see my whole basement! The whole boiler room from Gus Vision! That is so cool! Badoop. That is sick! That is really cool! Of course, he faces the wall most of the time, but... Anyways, um, so that... These are the tree fight seeds. Now, I am gonna make, um, I think I'm gonna make another one. Uh, because I wanna actually... I wanna kill them for two reasons. One, I want the morph. And two, I want to see if they drop anything. So let me come down here. Got some stuff set up here that I don't want to reveal yet. Um, so put that in there. Let's go ahead and put the safari net up here. The witch's hand can go back there. Just put your head down, Chim. Don't reveal too much. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we need the water artichoke globe. Oh, Percy, excuse me. We need Tear of the Goddess. Um, what was the other thingy? Reek of Misfortune. Mm, Reek of Misfortune. Please. Yes, I have enough Mutandus Extremis. Oops. Do that. I love hearing that guy, the villager, talk down below me. He's so funny. Nice day we're having. <laughs> I'll trade you some of these for lesser of these. He, like, says some really funny stuff. Um, I think that that's it, right? I think that's it. Okay, tree fight seed. Let's... Let's do this, and these have got to be one of the one of the creepiest mobs I think in all of Minecraft, and definitely this mod, definitely this mod. Um, the parasitic louse is probably pretty creepy too. That's probably why I never, I never used them, never messed around with them, was because uh, they just creep me out. They literally creep me out. Uh, okay, so do that. Now we've got four, but I do want to kill one. Um, so let's charge up here. Give me that strength. Okay. And even though I hit him, will he hit me? Oh, he will. He'll hit me back. That's blindness. And there we go. He drops a rose. Ah, oh, look at me. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. I can come into people with bases like this. Do I click? Do I make that nasty click sound while this thing is going on? Oh, if I do, I could just sit in someone's house and just creep them out. Oh, am I making that noise? Is that me? No, that's them. I think that that's them. If I took damage though, what do I make? <laughs> Sounds like a silverfish. Ooh, XP. All right, guys. Uh, speaking of silverfish, I'm actually going to use that as a segue to uh, my next endeavor, which uh, we are going to be making some parasitic louses today because I want to get all of the witchery armors here. I want to make a biting belt and I also wanna make some icy slippers. So I'm gonna do that, uh, get that prepared, and then we'll be right back. Okay guys, so we are ready to go, ready to make some of these parasitic louses. Uh, parasitic lice? Is lice the plural? I guess lice would be the plural. Uh, okay, so I'm wearing my robes, as you can see here. We're gonna be brewing something today, something very expensive. Uh, where is it? Where did it go? Uh, the brew of infection, which is right here. Here it is. So we need mutandus a wormy apple, a creeper heart, a zombie brain, a belladonna flower, and a toe of frog. So, I've got um, three, only three creeper hearts. Those are so rare. Um, we need the uh, wormy apple. I've got one of those. Um, what's the other thing? 
And where is this on my list? Uh, 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 uh. I, I lose this every time. But I'm, I'm... Goodness gracious. There, room infection, holy smokes. Um, where is that? So I know where to look next time. I, I can't ever find it. I seriously can't find it. What is the freaking, freaking thing? Let's just do this. Problem solved, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> there we go. Okay, Belladonna flower. Um, so I'm gonna get one of these, because I need to make this potion. What this is gonna allow me to do is throw this potion on a wall. Um, well, I'll throw it on stone. Throwing it on stone will then create a, uh, a basically a silverfish block. You mine that block, silverfish is gonna come out. We need to trap that silverfish in a critter snare, and then we're gonna use that for this little ritual we're gonna do. So I need toe frog. Um, this is my last one. I'm gonna have to get some more of those soon. Um, and the last thing, one, two, three, four. Oh goodness, I'm running out of room. Uh, let's put our armor up here. Uh, okay, so the ingredients are right here. Sorry, I'm, I'm in slow motion today. Um, zombie brain, mutandus, and I think that that's it. So we need some mutandus and a zombie brain, which I don't think I have in here. Basically, in this texture pack, a zombie brain is just a piece of rotten flesh. All right, those tree feeds. I'm regretting putting them in my house right now. I'm regretting it. They are very... Creepy and noisy. Very, very. Uh, I've been getting more poisonous potatoes though by mining by myself, which has been good. Uh, it's been great. So let's just jump back on up to there. Get out of here, you little tree fight seeds. Okay. Uh, or they're not tree fight seeds anymore. They're tree fights. Oh, I'm auto walking forward. Okay. All right, we're good. Let's do this. I. Jeez, freaking. All of a sudden, I'm like flustered. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Hey, the white bubbles. Whew, had me nervous for a second. Uh, okay, so there's only three. That must be a balancing thing. Um, okay, so now what we do is we go down. We go down. Uh, no, we go outside. And we go into the cave. Because this is the little area where we're going to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw one of these brews of infection on this stone block right here. Now that should make a silverfish, which I'm going to trap by putting a critter snare right here. So if I mine this away, this is taking quite a bit of time because I think it's a monster block now. Yep. Oh, look at it. He went right into there. Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how you do witchery. Mm hmm. So now we've got our little silverfish trapped inside. We're going to put this right there. Now, what we need to get are, oh, is he, is there particle effects coming off him? Oh, I thought there was. Maybe there's just the leaves blowing around. Um, what I need to get is, let's do, boom, up to the tower. So I'm going to put this away. Um, so what I need to get now is, take my armor off. Give me a second here. Transition time, transition time. Um, put my old armor back on. There we go. And so what I need to do now is I need four grasper plants. Um, I've got six right here. Grasper plants don't get used up. Um, so you can make them and, and use them uh, in, in certain rituals and you'll get them back, which is really great. So what we need is a charged attuned stone. Do I have any in here? No, I have one right here though. Carry them on me at all times. Good, 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 a prepared witch. We need, um, let's see, uh, lily pads, charged attuned stone, a tongue of dog. Thank you, little shop trader downstairs, right below me. And I think we need mutandus. Yep, uh, two mutandus. And then what we need is the mutating sprig right here. This guy has gotten some use, let me tell you. Um, okay, so let's go out here. And we are gonna get ourselves uh, at least one parasitic louse. I'm not sure how many you get from this. But what I need to do is place these grasper plants in the corner, like that. I think I've done this for you guys before, but I'll show you again. Um, this is what we had to do for like the, the owls and the, the frogs. He's making some weird noises in there. What does he make? Oh, that's a gross sound. That's a really gross sound. Of course, you can hear the owls and everything behind me. So, I'm gonna be putting these guys um, here. Let's do, uh, 
Mutandus there. This is Mutandus, right? Yep, Mutandus and Tongue of Dog and then my Charged Attune Stone. I'm going to hit this with, with a Mutating Sprig and then I think if I just right click um, on the Laos as they squirm around, I'll pick them up. There we go. Oh gosh, I got one. Okay. So you only get one. All right. So I'm gonna have, probably have to do this a couple times because I do want to get multiple of these. Um, they're very expensive though. Very expensive and the brew of uh, infection makes it expensive. Now, what's really cool about these sprigs, or sprigs, about these uh, parasitic louse um, is you can give them a potion. Um, you can also make what's called a biting belt. Um, so let me go to witchery. Uh, if you make this biting belt here, um, with some impregnated leather. I need to make some more of that. You also need some mellifluous hunger and golden thread. And this is basically what you wear in the pant slot. Um, and it'll hold a potion, but you can also have these parasitic louse hold a potion in your in your own inventory, basically. So, um, I don't have any potions here. Uh, oh sure, let's do a uh, potion of swiftness. Okay, cool. So we're, I'll even show you guys how this automation, automatic potion brewer works. Take a bo bottle of water. What you do is you sort of line up what you want the potion to be. Ignore these nine boxes down here, starting with the gunpowder and below. Ignore this. The only potion I'm gonna be making today is a potion of swiftness. So you say, water bottle goes in here, top slot. Then you say, I want nether wart. Put nether wart there. That's gonna make you an aqua potion. From there, I want a uh, sugar, so a swiftness. Boom, the thing will drop down to there. I want the increase of duration, redstone. All you do, you code it just like this, and then you put the ingredients corresponding to this code directly across from this. So make sure there's always nether wart here. Uh, if you wanna make the potion I'm about to make, potion swiftness, make sure there's always sugar right here, across from this sugar, and then redstone across from here. It's very, very simple. I'll show you guys how it works. We've got a water bottle. It uses power, so we've got power in here right now. Um, just drop the water bottle in here, and this is going to run. You see here? It is using power because, oh yeah, I've toggled the, uh, I toggled the power downstairs. Uh-oh, that's probably not good. Uh, maybe it'll make it, we'll see. Uh, no, it's not gonna make it. I'm gonna have to go toggle that back on. Dang it. Go ahead and hit up the boiler room and get some more power pumping out of here. I think that should help. Hopefully it helps. Maybe we've got a network issue for my power up here. I really hope not. We do, we have a power problem. That's not good. I got <laughs> great. I thought I fixed that. I'm gonna have to fix that. But okay, we did get a potion of swiftness for three minutes. All right, whatever. We did get that. It'll run through there. I'm gonna figure this out because we need this running at all times, 100%. What I'm gonna do is I think you just put the louse right here. You do this. Yep, there it goes. Parasitic louse potion of swiftness. Now, if you have this louse in your hot bar, what this will allow you to do is if you take damage, the louse will bite you and inject the potion into you. So if I were to come out here, I've got things out here that can hurt me, right? Little uh, bushes that can hurt me. These, uh, any any Tinker's Construct bush will hurt you. These thorn vines also hurt. You, I don't think you have to be holding it, it just has to be in your hotbar. And as soon as I get hurt, it will apply this potion. Now this is great for combat because I can line these up with invisibility, uh, strength, swiftness, and just as soon as I get hit, uh, first hit, invisibility, second hit, something else, third hit, boom, and it's like, it's, it's a buff basically enacted by another player. So here we go. If I go and hit this. Uh, did it, did it work? Oh, I maybe have to be holding it. I think it, hold on. Did he not, did he not go? I thought it was supposed to go. What if it's not environmental damage? What if it's a mob? Now we investigate. We investigate. Because it should dispense that potion on me, I think. Pretty sure. I don't think you, you don't right click. I'm right clicking right now. Okay, where are the, um, the cave spiders that live around here? They're always here. Uh, what if I jump down in here? No. Nope. See, I didn't dispense anything. Yeah, what's the wiki say? Um, if the, aha, if the player is hit by another creature. Yep. So it's not environmental stuff. So let's find another creature. Oh, like the Enderman over here. Should we mess with them? I'm gonna look right at him. Oh, he's got a little backpack on. Hey, buddy. Come and fight me. These Endermen are so... <laughs> are you kidding me right now? These Endermen, they don't... They're, they're, they're the most bug, bugged mob in Minecraft. I am 100% convinced. Oh, where is he? I heard him. Come hit me. Attack me. 
I'm looking right at you. Oh, he's walking across the thorns. Dude, hit me! Maybe these ones with the backpacks don't hit you. Oh boy. Uh, okay, well can I find a mob that's gonna hurt me at least? I wanna test this thing out. I know exactly what to do. I've got one of these little straw men right here, and they spawn in zombies, so it's perfect. There it goes. There it goes. Injected. And uh, there's the speed potion right there. Injected dr directly into me as soon as I got hit by, by a zombie. That's awesome. That is so cool. And I'm just gonna probably make a whole bunch of these parasitic uh, louses. Uh, probably try and make as many as I can. And uh, just and just stock up because I do have some resources and supplies. I don't have a ton, but I definitely need to uh, get some more. And I think these can be really useful for battle. Um, so, anyways, you guys, that is going to do it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. We've got so much stuff with witchery to do. It's so great. I just love it. I love how much there is. It is so much fun and it's super entertaining. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and if you guys haven't done so yet, uh, make sure you check out. Oh, these tree flies are so gross. Make sure you guys check out the uh, first episode I posted of the Elder Scrolls Online beta footage um, that I posted uh, today. Uh, it's the first first footage I posted now of Elder Scrolls Online because they lifted the NDA last week. So check that out if you guys are interested. And I will see you guys again next time on Attack of the B Team. Peace.